Hey everybody, it's Jade Coro here at The Aimless Cook and on a snow day like today, there's nothing I want to do more than just stay inside and cook something wonderfully hearty and delicious. And that is exactly what we're going to be doing today. Today we're going to be making a kimchi jjigae with braised beef short ribs. These are fall apart tender, they're awesome, they're hearty. We're gonna put in some chewy tok to go in with it, as well as some really wonderful caramelized onions and mirin. This is an awesome recipe. Takes some time, but you know what? You're gonna be rewarded, trust me. It's all gonna be happening right now on The Aimless Cook. The first thing we're going to do in our recipe today is we're going to caramelize some onions. This is going to provide a nice naturally sweet flavor base to the whole thing and it's going to be awesome, trust me. So what we're going to do is I'm going to start in a cast iron skillet here with two tablespoons each of oil and butter and to that I'm going to add two pounds of thinly sliced yellow onions. And we're going to cook that nice and slow over medium heat until they're really soft and really brown. Now when those onions are done, I'm going to transfer them to the bottom of my pressure cooker here. Now if you don't have a pressure cooker, you can also put them in a Dutch oven. Now we're going to save that cast iron skillet that we were browning our onions in to brown our short ribs. And today here I have about two pounds of some really nice thick cut short ribs. These are beautiful. Uh, they've been trimmed already and the silver skins have been trimmed off. I'm going to season them well with salt and then I'm going to brown them well on all sides. Now important note here, just make sure your pan is on the highest heat and your oil is smoking. So when our ribs are nice and brown, we're just going to nestle them lovingly into that bed of nice caramelized onions you just made earlier and then we're going to move on. So at the bottom of that pan there you have this wonderful brown fond and that is just flavor. So we're just going to deglaze this pan with about two cups of kimchi. So we're just going to put that in there and we're just going to stir it all around until we pick up all that wonderful flavor. So once the kimchi is done we're going to add it to our braising vessel and then we're going to top everything off with about 700 milliliters of uh, anchovy dashi. This is the Korean anchovy dashi. Now if you don't have that you can also use the Japanese dashi. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the lid onto my pressure cooker and cook that for about one hour. Now if you're doing this in a Dutch oven you can also put this on medium heat and let simmer until the ribs are tender. This usually takes about two to two and a half hours. So near the end of the cooking time for our jjigae, I'm going to heat up a cast iron pan again here and I'm going to heat up a couple tablespoons of oil and cook some minced garlic. Now I got a few cloves of minced garlic here, four or five cloves, and to that I'm going to add some tok. Now of course tok is a Korean rice cake and it comes in many different types of shapes and sizes. This is just the sliced one but you can use whatever you have. Now we're just going to stir it around briefly until it's just, you know, slightly sautéed. And what we're going to do with that afterwards is we're going to add that to the rest of our jjigae for the last five or seven minutes of cooking. Now as you can see here, this is almost the end of the cooking time and everything is looking really delicious and has come together. Okay, so it's been about five minutes. Our tok has been simmering away and as a result we have a nice chewy texture for the tok as well. It has thickened our broth slightly so that's wonderful. So we're just going to give it a last taste and season with salt if you have to. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another hint of sweetness with a bit of mirin. So I got about a quarter cup of mirin here that I'm going to add. Give it a final taste. Everything should be spot on. And if so, we're ready to serve. So to serve this up, I'm just going to put a bit of the jjigae into individual serving vessels with one rib each per person. And then I'm going to put it under the broiler, a hot broiler, for about five minutes. This is going to give our rib some color and it just makes the whole dish look finished here. So from there, I'm just going to add on some garnishes. So in this case, I have some nice crisp bean sprouts as well as some julienne carrots. Now if you also have some chopped green onion, add that as well. I happen to have chives and then we're going to finish off with some black and white sesame seeds and then we are ready to enjoy with a bowl of rice. So 
So that is my recipe for beef short rib kimchi jjigae. And um, I gotta tell you, it's really, really incredibly delicious. And on a day like this, there's nothing more welcoming than just something hot that will stick to your bones. So take this recipe, make it yours, and have fun in the kitchen, which brings me to my question of the day. What is your favorite, favorite cold weather meal? Let me know in the comments down below and we will see you next time.